All right, for this, I'm going to show you how to set up the YAM scripts. Wait, is this thing recording? Oh, yep, it sure is. All right, first thing you're going to do is go to YAM, uh, then go to Libs, go to YAM again, go to Configs. Uh, first, actually, um, before I get too far into this, you'll need to go to Edit on your bot. And make sure your scripts are set to YAM. Click Update Profile. You will need to start a game. Go in, let the bot create a game. And then just save and exit out of the game. Click Kill. And it'll create a, a config with your character name. A life watch config with your character name. First, edit the character name. This is the long one. Uh, I recommend Notepad++. It has all the numbers down here on the side. Okay, um, once you get down here, this is a list of all the bosses that you can run. I had an error on Cal. Um, I haven't tried it since. I only tried it one time. Got an error when he picked up Void Slave for some reason. Um, yours might actually be slightly different. I think I copied this over from my Hammered In. Oh, that too, Yam only works with Hammered Ins. Um, unlike NT, which works with all kinds of, all kinds of different characters. <coughs> Um, this, you can take, uh, any, any boss you want to run, just remove the slash slash, if you don't want to run them, add it, um, rearrange this list however you want, if you want, if you want, uh, Andy to be the first thing you run, just copy it, paste, just make sure you remove the other line, there you go, now to run, Andy, count this bit. Uh, should have that. Here's your public mode. Yam, I would I would suggest just leaving it private. It's not too good in public mode. I don't know why. Probably because it's old. I assume it's old. I don't know. Um, your maximum game length. Set that right there. You don't really need to mess with any of this other stuff. I don't think so. Yeah, you don't need to mess with none of that. These right here, though, all five of these, change them all to false. They will all default to true. Change them all to false. This is your nip of the stuff you will pick up. Um, like, uh, you know, just add the slash slash remove it from whatever you want. Like I don't, I don't really care for rares. I don't care for sets, uh, uniques. I don't. Wait. Oh, I know what I did. Yeah, I will keep rares. Oh yeah, I was mfing for ethereal items. That's why I had all those checked out. I don't care for sets, um, magics. I'll keep that. I don't care for gems. Oh wait, no, magics. Can't remember if I care for magics or not. I'm just going to leave it crossed out. Fuck it. Um, get your charms, your rings, your, your money makers. Which he'll sell so much other stuff, you don't even need the money makers. You get the keys. Just slash slash for whatever you don't want. And no slashes for whatever you do want. Um, the minimum amount of gold to pick up. Pick potions, make sure that's true. Um, you won't need to mess with any more of that. Here's uh, the four items you can gamble on. I don't gamble on rings or ambulance. Or am yeah, amulets. I thought I said ambulances for some reason. You got circlets, coronets. See, slash slash, no slash. I gamble on these two, but not these two. See the free space. For your inventory, basically the same as NT. If you set up the NT, you set, you set this up. Got your amount of free columns, your minimum amount of gold before he takes it to stash. And yeah, clear inventory, guys. Set that to true. He'll throw garbage down before he stashes. And then the ones and the zeros all represent a column or one of the squares in your inventory. Zero for taken, one for empty. Leave the auto mule false. Make sure these are true. Um, your belt setup, basically the same as NT. Health potion, mana potion, rejuve, rejuve. This one, 
I leave a health potion and a mana potion on here because it uh, the amp supports potion swapping. It says there's no point in receiving a column for rejuves, but he's kind of stupid about it, so I do anyways. But you know, if he uh, if he sees uh, the 35% rejuves, whatever, and uh, you know that's what he has in his belt. If he sees 100% on the ground, he'll throw the 100% or the 35% down and pick up 100%, which is pretty cool. He'll also, if he finds a whole bunch of them, he'll replace his health potion with rejuves. He'll replace the manas with rejuves. It's pretty cool. But this is how I choose to have a setup. Even though I have insight, I still have a mana pot on there for mana burn. Assholes, you know, give it a little boost. I have it set to 2, 2, 0, and 0. 2 just seems to be a good number. I had a lot of problems when I first started running Yam with him constantly going back to town buying potes and then drinking them, not even putting them in his belt or anything. Um, but these right here, up to you, random delays. Uh, you can set those to true if you want, really. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, you won't need to mess with none of that. Um, oh, your UCTA, make sure that's true if you have a CTA. Your uh, auto precast, make sure that's true. These, I don't know, I've never changed it. I don't know. Uh, skip bail, if you want to skip bail at the end of a bail run, set that to true. I don't, I kill bail, so I have it set to false. Avoid Hydra, set that to false because he'll go to town. Um, Venom Lord CTA, true, he'll BL after killing Venom Lord, which I think is the fourth wave during bail. You know, here's a bunch of options of the bail messages you could say. Um, even though you don't even need all those, because you could just go in between the quotes and type whatever you want. Oops, probably should have never typed that. Um, you know, you could type whatever you want. It doesn't really. Oops, it doesn't really matter. It'll say whatever you put there some new game messages and clear first make sure that's true I think it defaults to false that's so he clears the area around the portal um, there's your cow variables open only have that set to false so he goes in and kills stuff cow king no king make sure that's true so he doesn't kill a king kill the king um, use pather just leave that alone safe check make sure that's false chaos kamikaze make sure that is set to true so he skips the river of flame. If you set that to false, he'll kill everything in the river of flame. Okay. Seal kamikaze. If this is false like mine is, he will start killing stuff at the entrance of the chaos sanctuary. If it's set to true, he will teleport all the way into the circle and then start killing stuff. But this, uh, the way the script or the, uh, the scripts are for Diablo, has this weird error where it doesn't. It doesn't TP at the beginning, it TPs at the circle. So you might want to leave that false. I edited mine. Maybe I'll throw a little clip up one day on how to slap that into yours. Uh, these, I just left all those alone. Works fine. Make sure your use Merc is set to true. Uh, go ahead. You can change those, whatever you want. Um, skip peel life is if this is in a percentage. Both of these are the 90 and the 30. What the, what the fuck? Um, I think this was 70. I changed it to 90. If he's got if he's got 90% uh, or more life, he won't go to the healer before going back and killing stuff. But if he has less than 90%, he'll he'll heal. Um, go ahead and leave those alone. These, on the other hand, starting with these immunities, um, depending on how tough your guy is, just, you might as well just set all of them to false every single one of them. Some of them are set to true. Some of them they'll have this space behind them right here. Make sure you leave that space. I had problems when I took that space out. Um, yeah. Actually, I think that is pretty much it for the script. Let's see how much time I got left on this video. Yeah, I'm running out of time. Oh wait, it's 15 minutes. That's right. Oh, I've got a few more minutes. I guess I can squeeze it in there. Um, you also have the life watch config. Go to that. Um, scroll down a little bit. 
Um, use town chicken, it's true. So he chickens the town instead of out of the game. Um, your life threshold, once you get to 70%, the dash, like if I remember right, turns it into a percentage. If you don't change, if you take that dash out, you have to put a whole number in like, like 2200 or some shit. Um, at 70%, he'll heal. At 60%, he'll juke. At 30%, he'll chicken to town. Um, 30% he'll chicken out of the game. Looks like that's what it means. Um, mana threshold. Once he reaches 15% of his mana, he'll use a poke. He won't. This is for rejuve on mana. That's a zero. I don't waste rejuves on mana. Uh, chicken mana, zero. Quit on no drink. I have that set to 35. I'm not really sure what it means, though. Let's see. Quit if you cannot drink a potion because your character action is preventing it and life is lower than this amount. No. So if something's preventing you from drinking a potion, he'll quit at that. That should, pro that should probably ma match my other chicken stuff. Show orbs and receive. Leave the rest of all this set the way it is. Um, display mer health. I have that set to false. You can. I think it defaults to true. Shows like 128 or something like that. Life above your merc. I have it set to false. I don't care for looking at it. Um, he'll give my merc a health potion at 50%. He'll give him a juve at 30%. I'd rather give him a juve than pay the 50,000 gold to revive him. Um, you can just leave the timers alone. Uh, merc chicken. The merc will die before I chicken out because of him. And then he'll chicken to town if the merc is dead. And he'll revive him. And then he'll go right back and kill other stuff. And quit on hostile right there. I think you can leave the rest alone. Just make sure you save it. Make sure you save it. Uh, well, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the game. And you just go back, run your run the oog, start it, ready to go. I'm gonna work on this video a little bit and yeah that's it for you guys